Hey guys, Shen here. So I actually wanted to come and make a quick video and tell you my diabetes story. So I was diagnosed with diabetes in 2008. So around that time I was, oh, I was a size 24. <laughs> so I was a lot heavier than what I am right now. Um, I was thirsty all the time. I had to pee all the time. I had started to get dark marks here, I had dark marks here, dark marks here, and on the back of my neck. And I kept like cleaning my neck with alcohol thinking like wow my neck keeps getting dirty not knowing that that was a sign of diabetes that those were sugar deposits that were depositing um around and that's why i had those dark marks in my face um and on my neck so um anyways i went to um see a doctor and he finally um tested my blood sugar and said wow you have diabetes and referred me to an endocrinologist but then at that time also found out that i was insulin resistant and that I had polycystic ovarian syndrome. So a whole host of issues going on. So that's my diabetes story. Um, they, I was um, put on Bayetta. I don't even know if they still make that drug anymore. <laughs> but I was on Bayetta and um, Metformin. And I was on 1,000 milligrams of that with Bayetta twice a day. Well, over time, with losing weight and cleaning up my nutrition, um, they slowly decreased my Metformin. Um, lower and lower um, and then I was weaned off of it now um, because I have a, a additional health issue that kind of impacts my insulin resistance my diabetes will come and go like basically my a1c level sometimes it'd be high sometimes they'll be low um, but I've been using natural solutions to manage that so that's my story that's my diabetes story um, how I found out I was diagnosed I was kind of sad at the time because I was like oh my god you know I who knows what being diabetic means and what it is and this, that, and other. But I was fortunate because I had a top-notch endocrinologist who immediately connected me to every resource that I needed. Um, and I'm grateful that that was my story. Um, so that I learned what, what this condition is and what it means and how to eat for it and what to do and all those things like that. And that doesn't happen to a lot of people that I talk to. They're like, they're clueless about what they're supposed to do because nobody told them the doctor just didn't really help them or connect them to a nutritionist or get them a referral or really just help them kind of navigate what it means to be a diabetic. So that's my story. And I would love to know your diabetic story or your diabetes story. So if you have one, you know, shoot me an email at my email address. I'll post it below, getwellwithshin at gmail.com. Or you, if you feel comfortable, post it below. Let me know. Let's chat. Bye.